Hi, uh, in this video, I want to introduce uh, a small um, utility that I created. Uh, I call it uh, Puzzle Creator. The, the idea is that uh, from using Animate, um, you should be able to create uh, picture puzzles uh, very easily. So, uh, so the Puzzle Creator involves uh, two scripts. Uh, I have I have uh, uh, checked them in my uh, GitHub repo. Uh, I created a repo called Animate Puzzle Creator. Uh, I will post a link uh, in the description later. Um, so it has uh, two files, uh, puzzlecreator.jsfl and uh, puzzlemanager.js. So the uh, JSFL file um, is actually the, uh, the puzzle creator. You run this in uh, in animate and uh, it will uh, walk you through a series of uh, uh, questions and inputs and um, it will create a puzzle uh, for you which you can then deploy. Uh, for that puzzle to run in the browser uh, you need to include uh, puzzle manager uh, .js file. So uh, if you want to try, I mean again I'm going to demonstrate how to use these uh, files uh, but make sure that if you want to try this out uh, uh, download uh, these two files. So let's see how this works. Uh, so I'll go to animate and uh, <coughs> I will uh, open the, the JSFL file, the puzzle creator. So when I double click on that file, um, it's asking me whether I want to uh, open it for editing or uh, run it as command. So let me just open it for editing because I want to run it uh, two, a couple of times. Now, once it is open, uh, just uh, run it. Uh, click on this Run Script icon. And uh, then it will walk you through uh, a couple of questions. Uh, the first one is, uh, how do you want to uh, build the puzzle? Do you want to build it uh, um, uh, from the new document or if you have a document with uh, the picture of the puzzle um, already created, uh, then that's another option. So first I'll walk you through how to create from a new document. So, so I'll type one because I want to create from the new document. And uh, then it tells me that, okay, uh, in the next step, uh, uh, we need to select an image uh, to be imported uh, for the puzzle. And uh, make sure that uh, the picture that you're going to import uh, is actually of the size uh, um, of the picture that uh, you want to display in the browser. Um, so that uh, uh, the performance is much better if um, this file, the file size is smaller. And this is the uh, image that I imported. The next question that uh, the, the script is asking is uh, uh, how many uh, rows and columns you want to divide this image into. If I, if I divide this into four rows and four columns, um, it's going to create uh, 16 pieces, uh, five by five or 25 and so on. So uh, just for the simple demonstration, I will select uh, just three by three. So this is three and then it's three rows and it's asking how many uh, columns so i will say uh, three columns so it has uh, built the uh, uh, puzzle uh, now here is the last step that needs to be done uh, manually uh, the uh, the puzzle manager dot uh, js script that we saw we need to include that uh, manually uh, as a as a global script uh, in this document to do that, uh, make sure the focus is on the stage and press F9. So that's going to open the actions panel. Um, then uh, expand the global section and go to include. And here, click on the plus icon and add a file. So that it will ask you to uh, select this. So it's a part of the uh, file. So that's it. The puzzle is created. So let's see how it. Uh, looks uh, in the browser. So this is the uh, uh, this is how it looks. Um, it creates first the uh, start page uh, where it shows uh, the puzzle the puzzle image. Uh, you are going to 
uh, key, put the pieces together to uh, generate this image. So click on start puzzle and you'll see all the pieces are uh, just shuffled. Uh, now I'll try to solve this puzzle as quickly as possible. So let's see. And one thing to notice here is that uh, the pieces are also rotated randomly. So uh, you can you can turn them by grabbing one of the handles at the corners. Um, you know, and for example, this one. And if the piece is um, inserted at right place, then it just snaps into that place. And this is the last one. Okay, so I took two minutes to complete the puzzle. Let's take a look at uh, how the document is created. So uh, it has created a number of layers. So let me just, uh, uh, some main layer. Uh, let me just hide all of them and go through each of the layers. The main layer has the actual puzzle uh, page where you see uh, shuffle pieces uh, that you need to put together. Then uh, uh, the screen that, uh, the page that you see at the start of the game, and this is the image uh, that you need to uh, build from the puzzle pieces. Uh, then this is the start button, again this is on the start page. And this is the script uh, um, layer where uh, there is initial script and also we saw how uh, we included the global script also in this uh, uh, in this page and uh, next one is uh, this is the reference uh, uh, page or reference layer where uh, it just it's created uh, to know the proper place of uh, the pieces that are shuffled and to also uh, check if uh, the piece is uh, placed in a proper uh, at, a, at, a, at a proper location. And finally, this one is uh, the page which shows uh, game is over and it displays the uh, time that is uh, that, that that you spent in uh, putting together the puzzle. Uh, so we saw how you can create um, the puzzle from the new document. Let's say. Uh, let me close this document. This is a new document I just created. Um, and uh, I also will drag and drop the puzzle image. The, this is the image that I want to solve uh, or create puzzle for. Uh, as you see, it's not fitting in the document. So let me just um, change the document size. So increase the width, okay, a little more, okay, that's enough, and yeah, uh, maybe reduce it a bit, okay, and here I can then place it uh, wherever I want on the uh, stage, yes. okay, let's say I want it here. Now this is the starting point uh, for for running the script when you already have the document uh, with the uh, puzzle image. So uh, make sure that this was the last document that uh, you had selected then switch to puzzlecreator.jsfl uh, and run the script. It's again asking me um, whether I want to start from new document or existing document. So in this case I want to start from the existing document. So I'll select, I'll type 2 Again, it's asking me for how many rows and columns. Since I'm not going to solve this puzzle completely, let me just uh, go crazy and divide this into, let's say, 8 by 8 and see what it does. So it's working on creating the, the layers and scripts. And yeah, that's done now. Again, it's asking me to make sure that I include um, 
uh, puzzlemanager.js into the global as a global script. So switch to the document and uh, press F9 and so that's it. You run the test page. Yeah, so here we go. So let's start the puzzle and you see it has created so many pieces. I think I selected eight by eight. So um, it has created uh, 64 pieces, I guess. So that's how uh, you can create a um, puzzle game very quickly in Animate using these two scripts.